Hey makers, this is Thruveen and today I am going to talk about how we can generate QR code using Power Automate. This is the most common requirement which every organization have. So let's get started and talk about the solution. But before that, if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification and don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account. So let's get started. For this solutioning, I am going to use Encodian API to generate the QR code. Encodian API also provides 30 days trial. Also, if you wanted to learn more about the licensing, you can always connect sales team of Encodian. I am going to provide all the links in the description box. So let's get started with the API key generation process. For that, I am going to provide one of the link in the description box. Just open up that and there is an option to generate the API key. So let's click on generate API key. So basically it will redirecting you to this form. Over here you need to enter your first name, last name, company name, role, email address and contact number and you just need to accept terms and condition and just click on submit. Once you click on submit, it will give you the API key right away. Also you will receive an email notification like this as well where you will be having API key for you over here. Now you need to copy this API key because this is the thing which we are going to use in our Power Automate. So now let's get started with the Power Automate thing. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to generate the QR code whenever a new item is created in this SharePoint list. And first of all let me show you the end outcome. So this is one of the SharePoint list for asset and user is entering the different thing here. Whenever someone insert that, I need the QR code generated for that attachment and that QR code will be looking like this. So how can we do this end to end solution? Let's see that. So for that, I'm going to create one cloud flow over here. First of all, you need to click on new flow and let's click on automated cloud flow. From here, let's select when an item is created in SharePoint and just click on create. You need to provide site address and list name of your SharePoint site. After that, you need to add a new step. And over here, you need to search for Encodian. This is the Encodian connector. And over here, you just need to search for QR code. So it is having an option create QR code. So let's have that action over here. So first it is asking us to create a connection and to provide the API key. So let's provide the connection over here. So I'm just providing the connection as QR generation. You can just provide any name over here and let's paste the API key that we copied from our email. So I'm just pasting that key over here and let's click on create. So the create QR code action has been generated successfully. Now you need to click on show advanced option to see all the properties of Encodian over here. Now the first parameter here is you need to provide barcode data. So what type of information you want to store into your QR code you need to provide it to here. So let's say for an example in my case I want ID as well as I need the title column and I need location as well. I want to store all three information there. So I will add different things over here. I need all this information because in future I want to enhance this application by scanning this QR code using Power Apps. For that definitely I am going to create a separate video for it. But at this moment it's something that we only want to generate the QR code. But with QR code I want to have all the data over here. So now let me just add barcode data. So I need ID. Then I am adding pipeline as a separator because I want another information as well. So I need title and pipeline. I need location. So that's it. Perfect. Then what type of image format you need? I need PNG. So let's select it. Let's provide height and width. I need 500 pixel and 500 pixel. But depending upon your size, you can select any of the stuff over here. Also, uh, you can add foreground color, background color. There are lots of options over here. 
Also, there is one more option, Auto Size Mode. Now, over here, let's select Nearest. And after that, you are done with this thing. Now, as a next step, I want to save this generated QR code into my SharePoint list. So, I will use one more action for SharePoint. So, I'm just searching for SharePoint. And now, let's search here for Add Attachment. So, again, let's provide our site and list name. So, I'm just providing my site list name. Now I need to provide the ID. So this is the ID when item is created. You need to provide the name of the file. So I want my file name as QR. After that I need to attach the ID. And after that I need to attach the name of the product as well. So I'm just having title. All right. And dot PNG. This is the name of the file I need. All right. And in file content, I will get the file content from create QR code action. So I will just use that as is. So let's add that and we are done. Right. So it's done. Now let's provide the name of the flow. We are done. Now let's taste the thing. So I'm going to my SharePoint list. I'm going to add one more action here. Like let's say I'm adding one more product MacBook. And let's say I'm just adding some price. And let's say I'm just adding location and hitting save. So the item is created. Now the flow should trigger. And here we are. The flow ran successfully. Now let's see the flow run. So this has been successfully executed. We added the attachment as well. And now, and now let's go to our SharePoint list and open the macbook and let's see if the attachment is there or not so yes we have and you can see the file name as well qr-id-product name and let's try to open the qr code so you can see that the qr code has been successfully opened so isn't it easy so this is how you can generate the qr code easily using power automate hope this video helps you and values your time if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultation, the website link is available on the top right corner. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe my another channel, Digital Dhruvin, where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.